this crop, as you can see, it's about to be harvested and it's 100% open, so um, um, yeah, harvesting will be uh, precisely on time. And we're very excited about the, um, uh, the crop and how we've been able to manage the crop as well during the season. With the, uh, the aid of the technology, the GMO technology, to precisely time uh, the, the nutrient requirements as well as irrigation scheduling and, um, and from there um, create a very healthy crop. Uh, we saw uh, heavy insect pressure early in the season and the GMO technology um, just, just eradicated any issues. In the past, up to 85% of our time has been you know, concentrating around insect monitoring and, and, and this year we've been able to trim that, uh, that percentage of time back. The lesser um, applications of insecticide equates to, to, to greater than 40 uh, kgs of, of active chemical um, not being applied you know, within, the, within, our, within our farming area, let alone within the, uh, within the industry. And, and also the technology has um, enabled us um, to, to control the weed emergence um, very uh, precisely. We've uh, minimised um, the number of cultivations that are required to, to um, control the weeds. Within the crop, um, the, the sheer biodiversity, the ecology of the crop, um, you just know the healthiness of that ecology. There's no question that the rest of the environment is going to benefit from that situation. We as land managers, we are sustainable um, on the back that the environment's sustainable. So yeah, we're very, very uh, um, aware of the environmental issues and it's just so fortunate to, to experience the benefits from the GMO technology and, and see that unfold through the rest of the environment.